Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a really splendid new recording on this of Court Viles, Symphonies 1 and 2, featuring the Swedish Chamber Orchestra, conducted by H.K. Gruber, that wonderful representative of the Third Viennese School, as they call themselves. Uh, really, this is just a lovely disc. It really is. The Court Viles Symphonies are fascinating. The first is a modernist single movement thing in the style of like Krennic or late Rager or somebody like that. It's dense, it's dissonant, it's exciting, it's fun to listen to, it really is. And, and it doesn't get a lot of play because it's such an odd duck and so atypical of his later style. The second symphony is a huge masterpiece. I mean, mega masterpiece. It's one of the great symphonies from the first half of the 20th century. It really is because it's entirely in Vial's characteristic style, first of all. Um, and second of all, it's in three really pithy movements full of biting wit and a certain sardonic neoclassicism. It's really, really beautiful. And these are wonderful performances. I mean, the first symphony is splendidly transparent, which really needs... Um, because it's kind of dense harmonically and and amazingly listenable actually and the second symphony just breezes along it's 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 splendid the march in the in the last movement is done with particular snap and and wit in this particular performance i mean gruber is a character in addition to being an excellent composer and a very good conductor and and he sings yes he sings he sings two numbers from Der Zilbersee, um, a Wintermärchen, ein Wintermärchen. Um, you get the overture and two songs, Der Bäcker backt ums Morgenrot, which is the baker bakes at dawn. And then we get Was zahlen Sie für einen Rat? What would you pay for some advice? which is a long number. It's like five minutes long. And then he does a spoken introduction to Vast Solensi, which is kind of in English. Um, and, you know, he, like I said, he's, he has a lot of personality. Doesn't have so much voice. He's a German cabaret singer like you hear in, you know, cabaret, you know, the movie, or, or in the Three Penny Opera. You know, the guy who sings Mac the Knife. You know, he kind of sounds like that. He goes, it's, you know, um, Und der Haifisch, der hat Zähne, und die trägt es im Gesicht. Und Markit, der hat ein Messer, und das Messer sieht man nicht. You know, he kind of sounds like that. I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for doing that, but you're worth it. I mean, you know. Yeah, I know that you'll appreciate the effort. In any case, he has his gravelly line of voice, but he does the numbers with lots and lots and lots of personality. And the playing of the Swedish Chamber Orchestra throughout this disc is marvelous. And because it's BIS, the sonics are absolutely spectacular. One textural point I do have to make. There are two versions of Court Vial's Second Symphony. The critical edition, which is sort of the one they're doing here, the one that's official, unfortunately, leaves out the percussion parts that he added later. He added snare drum and tam-tam and some other interesting doodads. And, and the reason he did that is because of the premiere, which was in Paris. He was in exile when he wrote this at the same time as The Seven Deadly Sins in the early 1930s. Um, Bruno Walter suggested that he add some percussion, and so he did. And the, the purists who do these critical edition things said, well, it was Bruno Walter's suggestion, so why should we do it? No, the original didn't have it. Well, that's not really the point, is it? The point is, he took the suggestion <laughs> and he did it. And if you want to hear that version, there's only one recording as far as I know. It's the Anthony Beaumont recording on Chandos, which is actually superb and has other couplings as well. Um, and uh, you really should hear both. Um, just to, to see what you think. The, the piece works very, very well either way, I have to confess. I mean, there's no real reason why you have to do it one way or the other, but I do wish they would do it the way Court Vial left it and heard it when it was first performed. He could always have said, get rid of that chazerai, we don't need it, but he didn't. 
and so we should have a chance to hear it. That's my feeling about it. In any case, all of that folder all aside, this is a splendiferous disc. Beautiful music, characterfully played, brilliantly recorded. There's nothing not to love. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.